The Federal Trade Commission this week voted to ban non-compete agreements. Employees who signed those contracts cannot go to work for competitor after quitting or being laid off or fired. The FTC chairwoman says the change will create more competition and better wages for employees. Fox 4's Stephen Dow spoke to a labor attorney to talk about the legal challenges on the way. I think the development that happened has a potentially titanic or seismic um, change for relationships between employers and workers. Tuesday's three to two vote by the Federal Trade Commission to ban non-compete agreements has been talked about a lot on social media. Haynes Boone labor attorney Laura O'Donnell says while the implications of the ban could be significant, it's unlikely to be enforced anytime soon probably not without action by the U.S. Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court has said, hey, agencies, you have got to stay in your lane. This overbreadth, overreaching, we're not going to allow it. And that will be the major challenge to, to this. The FTC says 30 million people, about one in five workers, are subject to a non-compete agreement. Proposed last year, supporters claimed those agreements harm workers by reducing the ability to switch jobs for higher pay. The clause spans multiple career fields, from casino workers to doctors and even journalists. And one of the huge things about this rule is not just invalidating non-compete agreements going forward, but invalidating non-compete agreements that currently exist and requiring companies to give notice to employees, to almost all employees or workers that, hey, your non-compete is not enforceable. The rule would not apply to people who work at nonprofit organizations. There is a four-month window before it can be enforced unless it's blocked by legal challenges. For employees who are thinking about making a change soon because of the ban, O'Donnell says, don't hold your breath. My gut tells me it is not going into effect anytime soon. My gut tells me it will be challenged, it will be enjoined, it will ultimately go to the U.S. Supreme Court, who will ultimately make the decision. If there were a change in administration, that would significantly change the landscape, in my opinion, because I believe that a new administration might very quickly um, change this, reject it, issue you know, new authority, or just rescind it altogether. In Dallas, Stephen Dial, Fox 4 News. All right, and so the expert we use there, O'Donnell, says the presidential election can have a big impact. She thinks the administration changes that ban, as she mentioned there. Could be blocked even before it gets to the court process at all for review.